Okay, I'm going to show you today a very good restaurant that is new here in the city of Cartagena. The restaurant is called Rebellion and it's just opening its doors to be over here in Cartagena and we're going to see how the food is at Rebellion in Getsemaní, Cartagena de Indias. And I mango, I mango, I mango! Hay mango. Mango, caimo, ciguela, mamone. Okay, he has everything, all the fruits. But I'm going to the restaurant. So I'm not for fruits right now. But let's get into the restaurant. And this is greetings from Colombia and uh, the motorcycles. Let's get in. Okay, they're waiting for me over here for the restaurant and we're gonna have dinner. We find some friends over here. Hola, hello, how are you? Hola. How's everything? How's amazing? Did you like Colombia? Did you like the restaurant? What is the best thing about Colombia? What do you think so? You, buddy. Oh, me? Hope it will be me. I have another answer. The women. The women. Okay. That's a very good statement. What do you think about that? You tell me. The food. Okay, tell me one thing. Can you explain this to me, please? Do you know why Colombia has so beautiful women and we men are so ugly? Can you explain that to me? I know. Uh, do you know why? I don't know. God love know? us more than the men. <laughs> men, we Colombian men are ugly and Colombian women are so beautiful. I don't know, but we're lucky, guys. We live here. And Toronto. You're from Toronto. Actually, I'm from Boca Grande. You're from Boca Grande. You live here. You live here in Cartagena. Only for six months, yes. Okay, and how has been how happened your life over here in Cartagena? What do you think? I don't know. Did you have a good time here yet? I don't know. You're having a great time. Have you liked it? Yes. How has been your experience? It has been amazing. The, pe the people that I've met, uh, whether it's for fun or for business, have been amazing. That's great. Tell me one thing. I'm doing an investigation, and this is a real serious investigation. It's real serious what I'm talking about. Pretty serious. Yeah, pretty, pretty serious. It's totally serious. Tell me one thing. After knowing the arepa de huevo, what do you think if McDonald's have discovered the arepa de huevo before the egg McMuffin? Who will be they choose it? Arepa de huevo or egg McMuffin? I'm going with her suggestion. What is your suggestion? Arepa de huevo. <laughs> what do you think? Arepa de huevo or egg McMuffin? He hasn't had arepa de huevo, man. Okay. Are you going to take him for arepa de huevo? What? Are you going to take him for Arepa Well? Yeah, for sure. Is okay. He, he already is. Is it car free? Where did I no. What is it? <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, the car. Yeah, yeah, with, with eggs. We make eggs apart in the old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best part is the corn. The best part is the corn. Make McMuffin is. Yeah, Arepa de Well. Yeah! Y aquí los esperaré hoy siempre y saludos a todos los que nos ven allá en Estados Unidos, en Colombia y en cualquier parte del mundo. Rebelión Alma y Sabor es la casa de ustedes. Eh, un homenaje a la comida del Caribe y el Pacífico de nuestra tierra colombiana. Ok, he's saying the rebellion is the house, your house over here in Cartagena. And this is a, 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 a sincere, sincere homenaje. How do you call it homenaje? Man, I'm not very good today translating. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into the kitchen because we're invited into the kitchen, but uh, you know I have to use this. So, me puedes poner la cámara? Can you hold me the camera? Thank you. Is it okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. We're going in. Let's go into the kitchen over here at Rebellion. Let me see what they have. And this is a perfect kitchen. Hola, ¿qué tal? How are you, everybody? Hola. How's it going? ¿Cómo están? Bien. What is your name? ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Claudia. Claudia. And? La jefe cocina. Uh, she's the uh, chief. She's the chief over here, the chef. Uh, the, the, the chef chief. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Daniel González. Daniel. And? 
¿Tu nombre? Derli Larga. Derli, and you see a beautiful kitchen over here. So what are you going to prepare right now? ¿Qué van a preparar ahora? Vamos a sacar unas carimañolas y unos aborrajados. Okay, then we're going to get out some carimañolas and some aborrajados. So, so please work, do it. Dale y trabaja. Y miramos a ver cómo salen las carimañolas y los aborrajados. Jonathan, I wanted you two guys to, to meet each other because I, I think maybe, well, he has a this restaurant over here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cilantro y la de la casa. Que es a base de agua. Esa de la casa es espectacular. ¿Sí? Espectacular. So it looks good, huh, Rob? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, Carmelo, can you talk about uh, what we have here today? Hoy les vamos a hablar de las carimañolas de coral. Son unas carimañolas hechas a base de yuca y rellenas de calamares y pescado. El toque negro se lo da la tinta de calamar. Es la particularidad de nuestras carimañolas. Estas vienen acompañadas de unas salsas típicas de la casa, la amarilla, una mayonesa de zanahoria, eh, la siguiente es una mayonesa de remolacha, tenemos una mayonesa de cilantro y eh, suero costeño con ajo. También tenemos los aborrajados típicos, son aborrajados rellenos de eh, carne mechada y queso costeño. Buen provecho que los disfruten. Salud, yummy. Enjoy, please. Nice restaurant, Jonathan. Yes. So now I'm going for mine. un tinto mediano por favor ok I am asking for a medium coffee it's like an American coffee y tinto when we say tinto it's just like a, it's like an American coffee ok she's asking me if I want some pasta but no I don't gracias no I don't do any gluten if I can not do it but I like almohabana but right now I'm on a diet because of you guys. So I gotta be on diet. I gotta pay first. No me le pongas plastic. Oh, okay. She just put me on plastic on the coffee, so I don't want to waste so much plastic in my life. And I don't do sugar. Okay. Okay, they're gonna charge me. I'm gonna go up my coffee. Remember, you can give me a coffee next time. Buy me a coffee. Buy me a Colombian coffee over here at Juan Valdez. Muchas gracias. ¿Cuánto es? Okay, three thousand nine hundred and fifty. And you for five dollars, you can buy me a coffee. So you can uh, give it to me. Thank you. Yes. Hola. 
the other has is in puntos. No points because, yeah, I accumulate points, but I gotta give my national ID number and I'm not gonna give it on YouTube, you know how it is. Thank you very much, muchas gracias. And let me have a coffee, please. And you can buy me a Colombian coffee, you know. We are here at the Café de los Capicultores Colombianos. And I'm gonna show you something special. So let me have my coffee. No. So the best Colombian coffee has to have the Juan Valdez trademark on its package. So you can see all these trademarks over here. You see the Juan Valdez trademark. That's a decapinated my, my one. That's not my favorite, but I will have this one of these. This is very good. This is origin, Café de Origen, which means origin country. And you see this one is Finca Special. And this is real, very good coffee. Remember, when you see the trademark of Juan Valdez in the coffees in your supermarket section, you can buy it with trust because it is 100% Colombian coffee. Greetings from Colombia. Okay, here in Cartagena, you can find so many cool things, like this guy. ¿Qué es lo que vendes tú acá? Arte. Arte, art, and you do it by yourself, tú lo haces? Sí, señor. Tú eres el artesano, ¿y cómo lo haces? Eh? How do you get all this? Eso es chatarra, tornillo oh. que encuentro por la calle, tuerca tirada, la recojo y ahí la pongo. Okay, he's ya saying to me que... that he works with junk and everything, that if he finds any screw or anything by the street, he picks it up and then he makes it this. ¿Y estos qué? ¿Los derrites y qué haces? No, 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 no. Eso es chatarrita, entonces yo más bien voy cortando y voy acomodando. Ok, he goes cutting and he goes placing. So you see here the coins and everything. So you go put in uh, place by place, thing by thing. Look at this work. Motoniveladora, cuchilla. Ok, that is a motoniveladora. Uh, forgive me about, I don't know how to say it in English. You can write me in the comment. What is the name for this machine in English? La última que tocó Juanes cuando vino a Colombia. Okay, this is the last guitar that Juanes, the lead stud singer of Colombia, played when he came over here to Colombia. <laughs> and look at all these beauties. Oh, this is a... Kafir. A Kafir. Yeah, and that's... Mentality. Yeah, that's from Israel. And look at this helicopter. That helicopter looks from Mad Max. Oh, Quijote. Quijote la Mancha. Okay, and what is the beer you're drinking? ¿Qué para cerveza toma? Para la sed, para la sed. For the thirst. And wh what is the beer you're drinking? Hombre que trabaja, da sed. Okay, man that works <laughs> has to drink some beer and he's drinking Aguila. So, this is greetings from Colombia, from Cartagena, the Indias. Hey, man, how are you? Bien, ¿cómo te vas? Yeah. 